button on your notification bell you will still get those information you are looking for justice ariwala must resign protest hits abuja as civil society organizations roll out drums against the cjn now this is happening in abuja yes the city has been thrown into commotion as heavily armed police officers chase away protesters yes they chase away protesters and what are they protesting that the chief justice the newly sworn in chief justice of the federation of nigeria the cjn must be removed they were the ministry of justice to protest the the remove to that the, the protest that the cjn should be removed yes talking about justice Eugene Ariwola. Ariwola, he said he must leave office, that he must be pushed away, that Malami should make sure that he's being pushed away. So they said they are, they, they are coalition of civil societies, coalition of civil societies in Nigeria. And so that is what they are saying. I think uh, some of them, some of those uh, groups, they include the Civil Society Forum of Nigeria, Nigeria Youth Development Forum, Democratic Youth Initiative, Forum for Social Justice, and the Movement for the Development of Democracy. Yes, amongst others, uh, and others, other people that join them, um, Niger Safeguard Nigeria Movement, Alliance for People's Welfare, Forward Nigeria Movement, Human Rights Crusaders, Defenders of Democracy, Democratic Rights Assembly, and Voters' Rights Assembly, among other people. So they said, the CJN must go. They said he must go. So they were protesting about the police was chasing them, tear gassing them life. This is not an issue of, uh, you know, make up stories. Police tear gas them. And so they said, that's the group said, seeing the hard for democracy under threat, as we are witnessing now is nonetheless a misnomer. Nigerians will resist this affront with all legitimacy of their convictions. Few days ago, Nigerians woke up to the reckless partisan interference of the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Tajudin Olukayode Ariwala, in a political dispute capable of making Nigerians distrust the electoral processes leading to the 2023 general elections. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, in an, in an unholy visitation to River State, alleged to be a bot commissioning exercise, to be a commissioning exercise, made reckless statements in favor of his newfound political friend, Governor Yesom Wike. CJN's Ariwola's reckless statement, statement in reverse was reckless. This portends a great danger to the smooth dispensation of justice in case of electoral dispute before, during, and after the 2023 20, general elections. As the saying goes, he who pays the piper dictates the tune. From Justice Tajudino Lukayo Dari Wallace's body language, it is becoming clearer that no party or candidate can get justice. In the Supreme Court, he oversees. Nigerians will not watch this overbearing suggestion by the CJN to rob off the citizens of the good governance which they have suffered in the last eight years. That is what they said. In that, uh, the last statement was just uh, you know, not only you know, ironic, but uh, you know, laughable and ridiculous. And it, was, it is also a slight and contempt on the people of Nigerians that have suffered in the hands of this, uh, you know, this uh, oblivious regime of President Muhammad Buhari Buhari. Can you imagine what people are saying? That this thing, that the, CJ, that the suggestion by the CJN, let me start quoting from the beginning. They said, it is becoming clearer that no party or candidate can get justice in the Supreme Court in overseas. Said Nigerians will not watch this overbearing suggestion by the CJN to rob off the citizens. The good governance which they have suffered in the last eight years. Yes. And so that is the good governance Nigerians have suffered in the last eight years. So we don't know what the civil society are saying, whether Nigerians have been suffering the good governance of Buhari, and that is their own, they have to explain more on that. As long as we're concerned, Nigerians have suffered a lot, a great deal, in bad governance 
they just are suffering. So this use of uh, endoximoron here uh, or innuendo will be explained more by the civil society organization. But the point is clear that there have been tear gas. The intolerant Nigerian police have tear gas them, have chased them away from protesting. But now what are they protesting? They say CGN went to the University State Commission, I think that should be a faculty of, uh, you know, in a, a law school, you know, built by the governor of River State. Maybe he made some statements there that they're not comfortable with. And they say that statement is uh, anti-democratic tendencies. But what we're saying is this. Whether democratic or not democratic tendencies, the point remains that Nigeria is not a democratic state. In the first instance, the police are tear-gassing you. Does that show that you're in a democracy? No way. You don't have a right of, right of protesting. And then what are you protesting then? If not that you are partisan too. Yes, the civil society, you are not meant to be a partisan. What you are meant to be the conscience of society, you know, but what you are doing now amounts to partisanship. Because from what the Chief Justice have said, I don't think there's anything there that will suggest that his partisan out that he will favor a political candidate or a party when being in if need be or they approach the court for you know for pro for pre election matters or post election matters. Yes. So but the civil society they have allowed themselves in recent time to be used by political parties. It's very, you know, disgusting that a group that's supposed to be, you know, pushing for the welfare of the citizens, that in most cases they allow themselves to be you know to be in you know controlled by the political parties. It's quite unfortunate. Yes. This justice Ariwala is there now and uh, you know how he come about after Tanko said he want to resign because he's not fit. After he has been used by this boy regime to suffocate justice, truncate the course of you know, justice. Yes. These people was uh, they, 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 they were alive during the time what on again justice, what on again was unceremoniously removed by this uh, obnoxious regime of Muhammad and Buhari, Buhari to give in or to pave way for Tanko Muhammad to assume office so that they will have soft, soft landing during and after the elections. Yes, and that they have done perfectly. And having seen that has accomplished his mission. Tanko said, I'm leaving office. I want to leave because I'm, not, I'm sick. These people, they were alive. These civil societies or coalition civil societies, they were alive then. No one protested. It is now that they will come and protest because they have interest. And those people who are in power, who doesn't know what is democracy, they have rolled out, you know, the military or the police. And the police are tear gassing all of them. So, and that is it. That is Nigeria. Abrakata Abra country, Banana Republic, and the jungle.